yet. Yes. Are you going to kill the videos we have recorded? Yeah, well, let, let me ask. Let me Please. Ask. It's so funny. It's too funny. Is my mic even on? Bro, can you check if my mic is on? Okay. All right, and we are live from. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I could please ask the one day tribe to come in so that we can begin our program. Yes, I come a very, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I could please ask the DRM tribe to come in so that we can begin our program. Yes, I will be happy. Yes, indeed. Welcome.
Come on, Tommy. Welcome to the third heat of the Sugar Block Season for Film TV Awards. To be honest, there's no harm in joining us if you're enjoying the show. So guys, come with me and welcome to the third heat of the show. Tommy and I are full to the brim. His mic works, so I could just yeah. interchange. Do you want to introduce? Yes. You want, you'll introduce? Wazir is already Okay. Okay. What's, what's his name? Yeah? What's his name again? Who? Do you want to introduce? See how you're going to run? See how you're going? Yes. But thank you for making this happen. It's, uh, thank you. It's amazing. Ooh, it's for us. Hold on. Yes, it is. It is. For us, we'll uh, make us. Okay, now I got it. We do. Now we are running out on content. Farid, we need you. Yes. There we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just. Okay. So we can both be. Ah, okay. Sour, sour. Woo. Mm. Let me know when we are on. All right, if you guys don't know this man, I don't know what you know, but he is the guy behind Kalasha, the guy behind um, everything that's happening today, and he's in full support of the film industry in Kenya. He's made this happen today at the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards, the CEO himself. Sakari Butena Sana, you look amazing. Asante Sana, and thank you. Nataka Kuliza, as an entertainer, I ask this a lot. Your dress, who's, who's dressed you today? You know, CC entertainers. We know, we know who's dressed us. Now I want to ask, Mdosi Pia Najua? My, my daughter who is 10 years old. Oh my God! Yes, she's called Daniela. Wow, big shout out to you, Daniela. And so much has been happening in the film industry. Now um, um, f uh, actors are saying that they're making more money than they used to. I just want to know, um, coming this far, what are some of the things that you have picked up about the film industry, some of the things that are yet to be improved on, and some of the people that you would commend for assisting the film industry in Kenya? That's a very good point. The film industry is serious business. I think that's where we begin. And uh, anyone watching us needs to note that if you are not part of the film industry, then you are missing something very big. We need to be able to work together and see to it that we are contributing to storytelling business. And that's why Kenya Film Commission has put so many programs in place, programs that are geared towards creating an ecosystem for growth. Remember, the whole of this week, we've been here at KICC with a platform where producers are able to find financiers, co-producers from other countries, and again, local producers getting an opportunity to learn from the best. So the ecosystem for film is an ecosystem like any other. When we talk about manufacturing, we talk about tourism, film is an enabler for all. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sir, um, as you've seen, so many people have come to support um, the film industry. How does that make you film as a film enthusiast and number one film supporter in Kenya? I'm very happy that we are all now rallying behind storytelling. And let's call all our parents, our brothers and sisters, that they are missing something big. And let's rally this to be the game changer as far as our economy is concerned. 
you can employ so many people in the film industry as compared to any other industry. So this is where it all begins. Kalasha is where you belong. Lovely that you've mentioned the awards now. Who are you rooting for tonight? Nani unangoza kuona ashinde? Nani ulimpigia kura? All the nominees are my people. And, um, no, no, you, I want you to pinpoint on one person. I'm looking forward to see all winners, all nominees are winners. So for me, it does not matter who wins, but it's the industry that is winning. Oh, thank you very, very much, sir. You look amazing. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for putting this up. And for the guys back at home, the film enthusiasts, I want you to give them one word of advice. Storytelling is real business. Let's do this together. If you are not here, please watch this on TV and let's be part of this movement. Thank you so much, sir. Welcome, 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 welcome. We have an amazing program for you. I hope you enjoy. Yes. Thank you, and you look amazing. Thank you, sir. Okay, Farid. Yes. 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 Do they have that on cue? No, I think we're live now. I've been told. Uh, my mic's here. I've been told Waziri is getting here. So, waiting for Waziri. Waziri is getting here. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and lovers of the silver screen, welcome to the grand premiere of the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards. We, we gather to celebrate the magic of storytelling, the power of imagination, and the boundless creativity that fuels the world of film and television. Now, as we embark on this cinematic journey, guided by the glimmering lights of the silver screen, my name is Free Kimani, and I'm honored to stand next to this beautiful woman and my co-host for the evening, Claudia. Yes, thank you so much, Farid. And today we're going to take you guys on a thrilling adventure from drama, romance, comedy, and as we pay homage to the individuals who have entertained us through the past year. Today, we celebrate. It's a star-studded event. All right, so as we wait to go inside and see the magic that's going to happen tonight, all the nominees, all the winners, we're going to cut to the red carpet and Claudia is going to talk to the who's who of Africa's film and television world. And we are live from the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards, live from KICC. And I'm joined by the amazing and beautiful Kanye from South Africa. Kanye, say hi to the Kenyan people. Hello, Kenya Jumbo. <laughs> you got our greeting now. You need to teach me one. How do we say hello in Zulu? Sani Bonani. And how do you respond? Yebo. Yebo. Okay. Sani Bonani. Yebo. Yes. And she's a filmmaker and she was showing 
her film here at the Kalasha. Now, let, let, tell me more a bit about your film and uh, why you decided to show it in the Kalasha. Thank you very much. So I'm in uh, Kenya as part of a South African delegation that's here. There's about four of us, two filmmakers, an administrator and an animator that we brought here today. I was showing my film called A Woman of Substance and my film is basically a film that honors a very powerful woman, a woman of substance. Her name is Beauty Selila. She was a nurse, she was an activist, she was a community builder. It is a documentary and it had its work world premiere right here at the Kalasha Film Festival, meaning that it was filming and now it's ready and it showed in Kenya for the very first time. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's such an honor. Thank you for giving us the exclusive. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? It's an amazing night. So many uh, people have been nominated. I know people are anxious. Is there someone you're specifically rooting for? Well, it's my first time attending these awards. I had a chance to look on the website, the previous winners, the categories, and I know that these are one of the biggest awards in the country. So I'm just looking forward to seeing the best talent being honored here today. I don't know most of the filmmakers, but I know that the people who are going to be honored here today are going to deserve it. Thank you so much, Kanye. You look amazing as i said i hope you enjoy the night thank you so much thank you too now it's an amazing day as you can see it's all glitz and glam and i'm not the only person who is hosting tonight there are amazing people hosting it's an amazing day and we have so many stars are in the building i've seen king kaka i've seen avril just to mention a few we have a couple of people so stay tuned all right, with me is Patrick and Kenneth from Anger Cinemax. I know you guys know them because every time you want to take someone on a date, that's where you go. That's where we premiere majority of our films. And as people who contribute to the film industry and, of course, the marketing aspect of it, you look good. Both of you look good. So I know guys don't do this, but who dressed you tonight? Uh, <laughs> they were dressed by me. All, all me. Both of you. I want to thank me. For being me. <laughs> yes. And um, Kenneth, who dressed you tonight? It's Anger Cinema. This is us. And no, it's your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does this better than Anger. <laughs> yeah. You better... I love, love, love that confidence. And of course, you guys have seen a lot of Kenyan films. So, 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 so. Um, who are you guys looking for tonight? Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? For me, uh, it's seen the talent being awarded and the industry growing to this point that you're able to reach this far, get movies into the cinemas, and I appreciate them having making films that are made for cinemas. I really appreciate that. All right, and you, Kenneth? What was the question? Oh, my God. What are you looking forward to tonight? Who are you rooting for? Yeah, um, you know, we, we, we are the home of local movies, and we support all of them. Yeah, so <laughs> all the best to the to the winners. We can't really say we have the favorite. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much. You gentlemen look amazing. I hope you guys have a good night and I hope you enjoy the awards. Eh? We have an amazing, um, you know, program for you guys. Also tell people to come and watch movies. Yes. Now, now, now. Please. I'm a I don't want to repeat it, but please, would you please tell them? Please just echo it up one more time. I personally want to welcome you to Anger Cinemas. You are the best cinemas in Kenya. Yes, thank you so much. And from the Anger Cinemax crew, from myself to you, enjoy the night. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you too, gentlemen. And we are live one more time from the biggest film and TV award show in East Africa, in Africa, if I do say so myself. And with me is an amazing gentleman. He looks really nice. Huh? I, I like the gold. I like the gold. You're in theme. You're very much in theme. So I'd love to know your name. Yes, we do. I'd love to know your name and the institution you represent tonight. My name is Mike Strano. I'm co-founder of Yakwetu. We are a distributor of films. We have three nominees tonight. Oh, and please do tell us, who are those nominees? Yeah, so in total we have 25 nominations for, for our three films. So that is uh, Death Valley, which is an uh, animation. Then we have Where the River Divides, and then which is a short film, and Act of Love, which is another short film. So we're the distributors of those three films. And tonight, I know, um, do you have your acceptance speech ready? 
Uh, I'll be representing one of the nominees and it's been sent to me, yes. So. Okay, you look amazing. I hope you enjoy the night. Who else are you rooting for tonight? Um, apart from our three, um, I don't know, I'm confident on the jury and confident of the fans of the films that the best films will win, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing night. We have an amazing program for you. And welcome to the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. Looking forward to it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's, it's, it's full of excitement. It's an amazing day. People are anxious over here. But with me is Michael Smalls, Munyoki, and Mwix. I hope I said it right. I was, I was hoping, I, was like, I hope I don't butcher your name. But you look amazing. And we're just talking about your styling. And you told me your stylist put something together. Yes. And this is, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Her name is Vivian. Thank you so much. She has a way of putting things together because I tell her, for me, comfort is key. I want to be comfortable. When the drums come, I will want to jump and <laughs> feel good. <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you. Let me tell you something. Small last night. Let me, uh, uh, small story, yeah? yeah. So small and I met last night. There was a party last night, and we met. <laughs> and uh, when I was leaving, um, I, I took a video. So because you featured in the Netflix film Pakani, my 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 brothers were actually watching it. So they come and be, hey hey hey, guess who I was with? Hey, they were like, watch out, watch out, Chezo. They were so excited to see you, and so am I. You look amazing today. And thank you, thank you so much. Uh, what I am mostly appreciate just for the for being nominated, being here, being with you lovely, amazing creatives. For me, this is it. This is, this is our party right here. And thank you, thank you. There's been so much love this time around for the films and the movie and the industry. There's been so much love. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. And, ah, yo, yes, that's about it for me, man. <laughs> Let me say something. Um, this guy has a lot of nominations tonight, and he's going to tell us a bit more about that. I know he's anxious. Do you have your acceptance speech ready? Um, to be honest, I, I do not. Um, I, man, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's kind of the thing where I've been, I mean, I'm in a very heavy group. And I believe that each and every member of the person who has been nominated in my category is a heavyweight. Yeah. So to be honest, I haven't prepared a an acceptance speech. I pray I win, but yo, it's heavy. It's heavy, man. I'm, I'm just prayful. That's all, man. Wishing you nothing but the best tonight. We are rooting for you and everyone in that category. Now, Mix, my love, I want you to tell me um, your view of the industry from when it, from um, a few years back, from five years years ago what are the difference what are the key differences that you have noted yourself as a filmmaker yo we are making moves truth be told I know we have our own problems our own struggles but we are getting there we are growing like you cannot compare where we were five years ago and now so many platforms have come that are appreciating artists artists on Alipua you guys <laughs> let's send for real for real let's stop crying a lot but Platforms have come, and every platform is there to impress. So who is there to benefit? It is the artists, Tunakatiwa. They are impressing us, you know? <laughs> it's the one that is Tunakatiwa. Yeah, and who are you rooting for tonight? Oh my goodness, listen, I am hoo -hoo, butterflies like this. <laughs> butterflies like this. I've, I've also been nominated, by the way. Oh, shit. And I'm all right, from KICC. First of all, let us admit that the creative economy picked the economic value, the potential that this, this holds. And, and I'm looking at the whole spectrum, the whole ecosystem. Film, music, fashion, pageantry, theater, the whole ecosystem of the, of the creative economy is immense. And really, you don't need to go far. Look at economies that have um, just sort of ignited that. Look at Nigeria on this continent. South Africa, a little further, you look at India, you look at Germany, the US. I mean, this is big. It's big. And if you, if you, if you don't see this, there must be something really wrong with you. And so for me, um, the Kalashas really, insofar as um, they optimize achievement and recognition uh, for the film industry, they really are a serious, an incredible platform for us to showcase what the creative economy is all about and what we can achieve together. Yeah. And Waziri, uh, you've traveled far and beyond, and I want to know, what's that one thing you want to commend the Kenya film industry for? <laughs> Kujituma. <laughs> the Kenya film industry, really. I mean, given the challenges that you have to surmount, 
to make it to the top in 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 the in the environment that our creatives have operated in previously i mean those who have made it to the top the spirit of kujituma pushing yourselves smashing the ceiling and just saying impossible is nothing really really that is what i want to commend the kenyan film industry for and and, and to assure them that now is a new dawn we put in place every measure to give you that nudge you need to really hit the very top Final yeah mm -hmm. you must have, have some favorites tonight are you going to tell us who you're nah. rooting for nah uh, <laughs> they're all mine <laughs> thank you they're so all much. mine i'm rooting for yeah. all of them i mean it's a, such an incredible cast of uh, nominees you look across the whole spectrum I feel sorry for the judges. I don't. I don't envy the. I don't envy the judges but, 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 who have to make the call. You, yeah. You're saying an incredible uh, cast of nominees. <coughs> the improvement in the quality of production over Amazing. the course of the last, say, three to five years. Amazing. And oh, just to see where we can go next. How does it make you feel from where you sit in your docket? It, it just strengthens my belief. I mean, I have this very strong conviction that this that we are sitting on a diamond mine here. We are sitting on a diamond mine here. And this just strengthens my belief that we got to start mining like yesterday, like yesterday. And so for me, it is growing in leaps and bounds. And those who can't see yet, this should open your eyes. Well, Ziri, it's an amazing night. This is a 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. I hope you have a good night. I hope you enjoy yourself. I promise we have something for you. Asante. Thank you. Well, that was awesome. It was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, hey. Uh, and that was some, some great work by the Burundian drummers who have now left us, but they were phenomenal as well. Yes. All right. So we're going to start off very soon. We're going to move inside very soon. That was an incredible opening to the 13th annual Kalasha Television and Film Awards. Uh, so I will see you inside. See you inside. Well, with me, I'm about to bring a surprising act. Oh. Yeah, you, you guys don't know. I know how you like to do the red carpet. Mm. I'll leave your side. I enjoy you the red carpet. There. This guy's looking really nice. Yeah. And um, I was talking to my photographer and he was telling me, I was asking him, how do you greet in Luo? And he didn't tell me. He's an uptown guy. So allow me to invite. Um, no, I've been told I need to hold this in okay. for the surprise performance. Okay. okay. So let me hold this in. And right about now, I think we're about to hand over to the people on stage. So over to you, Sheila and Makbo. We go inside? Yeah. I can yeah, take some more.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts for the night, Makbul Muhammad and Sheila Moniga. Merci. Awesome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the awards. Before we begin any ceremony in the African stars, we always begin with a prayer. And no better prayer to start with than that of our land. So let us please rise up for the national anthem. These shall both be the anthems of Kenya and the East African community. Thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, to our online audiences who are catching up with this evening's event online and live on KTN, Karibuni Sana, to the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards 2024. Honorable Ababu Namwamba, CS of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, as well as Dr. Hilary Mulama, board representative of the Kenya Film Commission, Mr. Timothy Oase, Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Film Commission, our nominees, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are creatives. Good evening. That's how we do it. How are you guys doing? Wow. It's good. Who's winning tonight is the question. Can I hear the winners from the left? What about the right? What about the middle? Oh, we know who the winners are. Sound check right there. <laughs> <laughs> A very, very warm welcome once again and good luck to all contestants tonight. We've acknowledged the presence of our wonderful hosts and of course CS for being here Indeed. for tonight. We'd also like to acknowledge and thank our partners who have been instrumental towards the success of this event. We'd like to say Asante to the Communications Authority of Kenya, the Ken Kenya Film Classification Board, the National Film and Video Foundation of South Africa, the Copyright Tribunal of Kenya, multi-choice. Star Times, Showmax, Allsberg SPI, Samsung, Gote Institute, Anger Cinema, Royal Tulip, Argyle Grand Hotel, Cameras Africa, Mind Me International, Sony, Jamie Telcom, Dormans, Madison Insurance, Ken Bright, Kenya Film and Television Professional Association, Grisel Studios, uh, and The Bar, and Tiki Tiki. All right. As we participate together here, we do know that we're being joined online by 
hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of viewers online. And we'd like you to participate as well. I'm sure you got your pictures taken. You're sitting next to somebody that you like or admire or you think looks really good. Take a picture, post it, and use the following hashtags. We've got hashtag Kalasha Awards 2024 and... And the hashtag the 13th edition 2024. That's hashtag 13th, 13th edition 2024. All right. That said, let's get this show on the road. And we will invite our first speaker with a welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let us introduce our captain for the film community, the Kenya Film Commission CEO, Mr. Timothy Owasi. CS Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. The nominees, Kenya Film Commission Board, the diplomatic missions represented here, our partners, the media, filmmakers, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On the 27th of March 2024, the Kenya Film Commission opened the doors to the 7th edition of Kalasha International Film and TV Market. For the past three days, we have had an interesting engagement, and I want to appreciate all the participants emanating from Kenya, United Kingdom, Uganda, Germany, Rwanda, Tanzania, and the Republic of South Africa. All these wonderful people gathered here in Nairobi to be specific at KICC to transact film business, and it has been quite an exciting uh, three days. Tonight, we gather not only to celebrate our achievements, but also to acknowledge the profound imp impact that cinema has on our lives. During the 13th edition of Kalasha International Film and TV Awards 2024, we cannot help but celebrate how Kalasha Film and TV Awards, and by extension, the film sector has united us, inspired, and ignited our imaginations. But beyond the glitz and glamour of these awards, ceremony lies a deeper truth. Filmmaking is a calling to illuminate the darkness and to amplify voices, champion the values of empathy, compassion, and understanding. To this, I want to underscore the following, that storytelling enables and has the power to deliver direct, indirect and induced revenues, drive jobs, jobs that cannot be displaced. The screen industry is capable of attracting investment in related industries, marketing the country or a location, and also an enhancement on cultural diplomacy. Storytelling promotes and also acts as a catalyst for screen tourism. Many people watch stories, and beyond watching stories, they make choices as to where to travel next. The film industry promotes a community for cohesion and integration and has the capacity to influence everything you can think of. Ladies and gentlemen, deliberate efforts are being undertaken by Kenya Film Commission, and in the past one year, we have undertaken a number of initiatives that I would like to highlight just but a few. For the very first time, the Kenya Film Commission, in partnership with the, the German government through GIZ and Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, we were able to launch the first ever film industry satellite account. This account is aimed at championing and enabling the country and the world to get to know how much the film industry is able to contribute to the exchequer. During the same year, the Commission funded 22 projects employing 2,200 filmmakers and engaging 400 interns. This is an opportunity just to show that when you engage in filmmaking, you can be able to create a number of jobs and jobs that you cannot be able to displace. Capacity building 
in counties is another initiative that the Commission continues to drive. And so far, as of last year, we, we have trained over 7,000 upcoming filmmakers, and this is work that is continuing. Establishment of film hubs. The Commission has established a film hub in Bomet, currently completing a film hub in Migori. We have an established film hub in Nyeri, and another one coming up in Wasinigishu. The Commission also continues to establish film clubs in schools through our school outreach program because this is an initiative that we believe young people need to be nurtured so that they are able to grow within the ecosystem. The Commission also continues to offer liaison services to our filmmakers so that you can be able to access government services by all means without any struggle because we believe the Commission was established to see to it that as filmmakers, you have a smooth sailing when you are seeking for services from a government office or any county government. We also continue engaging stakeholders in various sectors. We may talk of insurance, uh, we talk about banking, we also talk about filmmaking in different aspects, animation, gaming, and so on and so forth. We are engaging stakeholders because we believe if bank institutions banking institutions stay away from filmmaking, then we as filmmakers, the ecosystem may not be complete. We would like to see to it that filmmakers are able to interact with banking institutions for the ecosystem to be, com to be complete because we need money, money that will be able to propel stories to be told as we progress. With this, I want to underscore the fact that the Commission also established 39 film clubs in schools in eight regions across the country. And this is an initiative that we continue undertaking because we believe young people need to be mentored and to be nurtured so that as they join the film industry at the right age, they are joining the film industry knowing that this is a profession that they can actually be able to undertake other than being distracted by any naysayers that you do not have to be a storyteller, you need to be a lawyer. Lawyers participate in filmmaking, doctors, actually the film industry is the only industry where you'll find a 10 months old and a 90 year old participating in the same space just to be able to give you a form of entertainment. So the commission continues to commit to you that we continue to act as a catalyst for the industry growth and by doing this, we promise that we continue building capacity and capabilities within the industry to attract more investment promote a screening culture in the country. We want to continue funding production through our empowerment programs. By the support of our ministry, we also underscore the fact that the film incentives will be put in place, and when they are in place, we'll have a smooth sailing in terms of automatic film incentives. Accreditation and certification is another critical component that the Commission is keen to see to it that we have an organized and orderly industry. By orderly and organized industry, I'm referring to a situation where we have a code of conduct for all our operations. When we professionalize the film industry, then we'll all be happy because we'll have everything put in order. The Commission has also developed a one-stop shop by way of coming up with an e-film shop, which is a platform that will help filmmakers to access government services through digitization. We believe through this one-stop shop, you can be able to access licensing, you can access the national park if you want to use it as a filming location, and you can also be able to engage and get support in whichever form without having to walk office to office. In addition, the Commission also continues to engage more partners, and I just want to mention a few partners that we are currently engaging. I'll start off with MasterCard, GIZ, the French Embassy, Iranian Embassy, the Chinese Embassy, the American Embassy, British Council, MultiChoice, Star Times, Kenya Bankers Association, the Insurance Regulatory Authority, among others. And tonight, I want to call on you that we are calling you to partner with us so that we champion the film industry to take the pole position as far as the growth and uh, connection of our social fabric is concerned. The film industry has the pole position to give us all that we aspire. 
government digitization of services has given us an opportunity to streamline processes and facilitate filming services with, the, with ease through an e-film shop. As I get to the end, I want to also underscore the fact that the evolution of the film industry extends far beyond content creation. We have witnessed a revolution of, in production techniques steered by technological innovation. These innovations have empowered filmmakers to craft immersive experiences, pushing the boundaries of storytelling like never before. And as an industry, we need to adapt to these trends to meet our diverse audiences' experiential needs. Going into the future, the Commission, through its board and supported by the Cabinet Secretary, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, is shortly going to launch the Kenya Creative Economy Accelerator Program to build grassroots capacities, enhance market access, improve success rates, and create sustainable jobs through youth-led startups and innovations in the creative economy. The second program that the board at Kenya Film Commission intends to launch is a Kenya Film Kenya app, which will provide an avenue for Kenyan content assets to access and also in line with the mantra, Kenya to the world and the world to Kenya, that if you are looking for anything Kenyan content, you should be able to access it through this particular app. Lastly, we are also working hard to see to it that we brand our industry. And I will be reaching out to all of you so that we come up with a unique name or brand name for the Kenyan film industry. As I conclude, allow me to appreciate the following partners for working with us to see to it that we have Kalasha as a success. Multi-choice, Star Times, National Film and Video Foundation of South Africa, Agile Grand Hotel, Osberg SPI, Royal Tulip, Domans, Samsung, Cameras Africa, Mind Me International, Copyright Tribunal, the Gotha Institute, KFTPA, Jami Telcom, The Bar, Grisel Studios, Anger Studios, Kenbright, and Communications Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, allow me to ask staff of Kenya Film Commission to stand wherever they are. Please rise up. KFC staff. Thank you. Mine is to appreciate these ladies and men that have made this event colorful. What you are seeing is because of the effort that has been put in place by a team at Kenya Film Commission. And we want to commit that we'll continue working for you as our stakeholders, because that is the mission that you have given us. Let's work together. And with those many remarks, allow me now to take this opportunity and craft our program a little bit and call Dr. Ezekiel Onyango, who is a chairman of the Film Association, to come and give a two-minute word to the industry. Mm. Good evening to the Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, the entire board of the Kenya Film Commission, all CEOs present, my brother and friend, Timothy Owase, development partners, nominees, colleagues, friends, Karibuni Sana, thank you. I would like to make a statement that says, all problems that we face in the world today are problems of culture. Whether it's climate change, whether it's health, whatever problem you think of are problems of culture. But we meet today at a very pivotal time when the film and TV industry is the only instrument that is left in the world to influence culture. Yet, today in Kenya, we live at a time when 62% of new HIV infections are occurring between people of the age of 12 and 19. That means that every week about six to seven youth are infected by HIV in Kenya. If you go by that rate and you calculate in 10 years, 
the future workforce of Kenya is in danger. The future economy of Kenya is in danger. So mine is to pose a challenge to all of you. Multi-choice, the commissioners of shows, creatives who are here, filmmakers, I want to pose a challenge to you as we create, as we write our stories, and as we take our content to the world, let our names be written in history as the people who intervened to deal with this thing that might become a risk for the future of Kenya. That said, I would like to thank very much the ministry for allowing us to host the first ever film summit in Kenya post-independence that we held last year under the support of the ministry and the Honorable Cabinet Secretary, and also to thank the Film Commission for ensuring that we now have an umbrella body that will house all of us and ensure the film and TV industry becomes a leader in economic development. Zaidia here, you all look beautiful tonight. I wish all the nominees, let me leave it there. Thank you so much. Asante Nisan. Thank you very much, Dr. Onyango. Now allow me to invite a representative of the international participants at Kalasha. Timothy. Cabinet Secretary, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, nominees. It's such a pleasure for me to be here this week um, on business coinciding with the festival and this awards ceremony. I'm from the UK. I run a creative industries management consultancy. I'm here because we've been hired by the World Bank of the International Finance Corporation to have a deep look at the Kenyan film industry so that they can understand better what are the opportunities to invest in this growing sector. And this mirrors what's happening around the world. The film industry has become recognized as one of the most exciting and potent industries for economic and cultural growth. And this has really accelerated in the last 20 years globally, and certainly here in Kenya, you have a, a ministry, a government that's absolutely recognized this potential and is putting in place strategies and policies to help the film industry grow because it delivers so much value to the public in terms, yes, of economic impacts, uh, levels of activity, that generates higher GDP numbers, certainly the kind of jobs that a country like this are going to, is going to welcome very much, particularly as they are very much considered jobs of the future and jobs that young people really want. These are well-paid jobs, highly skilled, highly mobile, and deliver huge value, as I said. But there are other economic impacts that um, emanate from a successful industry. Massive amounts of inward investment, return on investment for um, incentives and other policy areas that the government puts in place. When a production takes place in the country, it spends huge amounts of money very quickly that's, that ripples throughout the economy. Also, of course, this is an industry that has very strong cultural societal value. It also presents to the outside world an, a, a sense of the nation's own brand. We used to call it soft power, but certainly when people around the world see Kenyan stories, Kenyan people, Kenyan locations, Kenyan heritage on screen in a shared entertainment experience, those images, those positive images last a long time. They're latent and they come out maybe years later when people are deciding where to take a vacation, or in business terms, where uh, companies are looking to invest in Kenya. So I congratulate the fact that here in Kenya, you're looking at this industry 
um, as an industry that will play an important part of the growth of your country. I'm very lucky that I happen to be here this week when everything is going on. It's very exciting. Um, I was last in Kenya 40 years ago when I was on holiday, but now I see a country that is vibrant, exciting, excited, and I think the film industry is playing a huge role in that development. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's such a privilege to be here, and I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Jonathan. Now allow me to take this opportunity to invite the representative of the Kenya Film Commission Board, Dr. Mlama. Thank you, Bonasio. Allow me first of all to appreciate and thank our host, Wanawaziri um, Wababu Namwamba, the CS for um, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Thank you very much for having us here. We are greatly delighted. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, also to appreciate our CEO for doing such a great job to bring all of us together. In the same breath, appreciate all our partners who have come to be together with us and all our stakeholders uh, who are the filmmakers, who are people who are supporting the industry. I take this opportunity to say thank you for making it happen. And I want to just give a clap to all of you and say you have made it happen. Clap to appreciate. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Um, Waziri, we have had quite an enriching week from the 27th, as it was mentioned by the CEO, all the way to yesterday and today. We, in this space that is here, had a whole market with the creatives parading the great ideas and the great things that they have been able to put together. Our screens, both here and across town, were beaming with films. And just in the next hall across, we had very, very interactive sessions of panel discussions. So it has been a very productive week. And as I said, the event was big enough to speak for itself. And we are here seated, having seen what this international, this Kalasha um, a film and TV international festival has been. So we are grateful, and all that could not have been achieved without the input of each and every one of you. As the CEO has listed, our partners, we really treasure you. We would not have made these great strides without the support that we have received from each and every one of you. Um, Waziri, these people seated here, other than the partners, could not have made any step in bringing to us their creative work without the commendable support from the ministry, from the, right from the office of the president to the office of the CS. We have received a lot of support and we want to fully appreciate that. And ladies and gentlemen, the partners that you have had read to us, it may have sounded like a list, but they are faces behind the list that you had read. I've interacted with a good number of them, and we really appreciate those great men and women for the work they are doing. Why it not for their input, really, we would not have talked of the market, we would not have talked of the films that we are screening, we would not have talked of the panel discussions that we fully appreciate. And to you, I say kudos and thank you. Uh, Waziri, sometimes when we talk about these creatives and when we talk about the film culture, somebody out there could be seated thinking that we are talking of a very small, a very narrow thing. This initiative of building the creatives is a big thing. It's bigger than any one of us would imagine. Traditionally, we have trained our young people to look for jobs. 
I am from the academia, and for the last over two decades, we have been training our people, telling them to go and get jobs out there. But what is happening with the creatives now is an alternative that is giving a solution to a very huge problem. Because we are telling our young people, those that we are training, that we are training you to go and create jobs. Governments the world over are struggling to create jobs. But what we have realized is that the best way to find a job is to create one. And that is what we are doing with the creatives. And so we really appreciate the work that is going on. From where I sit with my colleagues on the board, we think so seriously about these things. When the CEO talks of the initiatives that we are making, we give it a serious thought because for us, it is not about organizing festivals and everything. It is about putting in place initiatives that will transform lives through winning people livelihoods. So that is what we are about, that is what the creatives are about, and that is what the film industry is about and means to us. And so, Waziri, we are grateful that the government has not been sending mixed signals on this matter. You have been forthright, the president has been forthright, that we must support the creatives. Because we realize we can shout the much we want about creating jobs, but if we are not supporting the talents and the young people and the many people who are going out to create jobs, then we will not achieve that initiative. It begins as an idea, it is a whole philosophy, and indeed as we look at the work that has gone on, we are headed for greater and more beautiful times ahead. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, because as I talk of the things that we are thinking through as a commission, Waziri, you'll remember, late last year you commissioned a team of seven men and women, and to them we have one added, and we are a total of eight, thinking through how to give policy direction and policy oversight, thinking through the programs and initiatives to see how we can push this commission and the film industry forward. I would be unfair not to request my colleagues to stand so that we get to see the great men and women with whom we are driving this special will. I request my colleagues from the board to be upstanding. I'll mention them by name uh, before I conclude my remarks and welcome Waziri to address us. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, as the CEO and management and his team push the operations, the men that I quickly introduce to you push the will of policy and oversight. On my extreme left, I have Commissioner Lucia Nzongo. Thank you. After her, I have got Commissioner Peter Njeroge. Thank you. Then we have Commissioner Catherine Mumbi. We have Commissioner Naomi Gishemba. And we have Commissioner Ilham Tysil. Thank you. I've got a colleague. Because of the role she plays on the board, she has opted to introduce herself in silence. And we have also Commissioner Vincent Onyango, who is the alternate representing the PS on the board. Now, I just want to reiterate the commitment that we have to drive the film industry to creating jobs. And we tell parents wherever they are, and guardians, that we are no longer pushing so strongly for the traditional careers. We are opening this space and telling our young people, you can carve your living out of film and out of the creatives. So thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I conclude before I welcome Waziri to address us, allow me to congratulate the nominees in advance 
as we will hear them unfolded, I take this opportunity on behalf of the board to congratulate you for the great work that you have put in. I know we will see it unfold as time comes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention. I want to take this opportunity, this very special opportunity, to invite to us our chief host, the Honorable CS for Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, Honorable Ababu Namwamba. Thank you. Let me, in a very special way, say that I'm delighted to be here. I have run away from Vasha just to be here for the Kalashas. That is how special the Kalashas are. And I must say that uh, it is actually a good decision I met. You're looking amazing. It's absolutely a beautiful occasion. And I want to start by acknowledging the Kenya Film Commission Board, members who are here, and they've been introduced to us, and the CEO of uh, the commission, um, our irrepressible and uh, very, very effective uh, uh, brother, Timothy Owase, all our guests, the dignitaries that have joined us this evening, the Kalasha Awards Academy, led by Lucy Mwangi, all the esteemed filmmakers, and of course, the nominees for whom we are gathered here this evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a very special honor for me to join you here tonight for the 13th Kalasha International NTV Awards. We are here to celebrate the creme de la creme of the Kenyan film industry, the men and women who light up our silver screens, lifting our beings and souls with the cheer, thrills, and spills of top entertainment. The Kalasha Awards epitomize achievement and recognition in our film industry showcasing how accolades can propel careers and open doors to limitless opportunities. I commend the Kenya Film Commission for the dedication in maintaining the highest standards that underpin the Kalashas. I equally extend government's appreciation to all stakeholders who have partnered with us I can assure you that your support has been invaluable in delivering this event. And uh, at the risk of appearing repetitive, I really want to mention the same cohort of partners that uh, the CEO paid tribute to, all you corporate partners that have made it possible for us to put together this enchanting occasion. Um, Star Times, Malt, Multi Choice, All Bag SPI, Samsung, Copyright Tribunal, Communication Authority of Kenya, Camera South Africa, NFVF South Africa, Royal Tulip Hotel, and Angus Cinemas, we say Asante Nisana. Thank you very much for your partnership. To the visiting delegations and delegates from the region, Karibuni, Kenya, this is the land of Hakuna Matata. I hope that you have sampled some of the attractions here in Nairobi, our green city in the sun. If you haven't yet, don't go before you do. Ladies and gentlemen, as we revel in the festivities tonight, let us be reminded of the economic potential that the film industry bears not only in terms of job creation, but also in shaping our cultural identity and fostering our creativity. 
You know, when we hosted the very historic State of Film Summit last year, I challenged the film ecosystem to move towards transforming into a full-blown industry. And we went through a checklist on what it means to be an industry. And I repeat tonight, we must bloom into a full-blown industry. I was telling my president the other day, my boss, that the film industry and the creatives economy in general is not even a low-hanging fruit. It is a fruit already lying on the ground. All it needs is to be picked up and we enjoy its benefits. And, 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 and really, I believe in that. That's not just cliche. It's not to, to please you, to make you happy. The creative economy, film industry, is something whose benefits are immense. Absolutely immense. And um, we will make it happen, trust me. We certainly will make it happen. I want to urge all of us to take a moment to appreciate the remarkable storytelling prowess of our filmmakers whose narratives resonate deeply with the fabric of our society. Their work serves as a testament to the rich tapestry of Kenyan culture. We remain steadfast in our commitment to providing a robust legislative and policy framework for the film industry, one that will nurture talent, facilitate growth, and provide incentives for innovation. We have just finished the very rigorous public participation process around the creative economy policy and the creative industries bill, a piece of legislation anchored by a robust policy framework that should really enable us to fly the creative economy where it belongs. And, and it's the whole ecosystem from film to music to theater, fashion, pageantry, that whole ecosystem. We have now anchored that on a robust policy and a full-blown legislative framework in the form of a bill that we should be progressing to parliament any time, any time now. And my ministry has been at the forefront really in fostering not only this anchorage on policy and legislation, but also in forging valuable partnerships locally, regionally, globally, to elevate our creative space and transform it into a profitable industry. Recently, I personally, on behalf of the government of Kenya, inked, signed deals, agreements with the governments of South Africa, and government of China to enhance our film sector. We have also entered into partnership with the Invention Studios, and I traveled to Los Angeles in person to sign this deal with Invention Studios that has opened a whole world of opportunities for yourselves and our partners in the American ecosystem, which really should make it possible for local productions to be showcased globally. And um, my partner in this crime, Mr. Weinstock, was actually in Nairobi uh, a month ago. And we hosted um, a forum attended by quite a good number of yourselves. And you witnessed the passion, the commitment, the belief of uh, Invention Studios, and I can tell you that extends to many other partners that we've been able to put together uh, in, this, in this ecosystem. And I can assure you that um, we are going even further than that. We have developed a policy framework to provide incentives for potential investors in the film industry, and we are at a very advanced stage of concluding discussions with the Treasury before presenting this incentives framework to Cabinet for approval. Okay. 
we are giving top priority to these incentives from work because for the last year and a half, every partner I engage, they raise issues which on the face of it are quite basic. Issues like tax rebates on their investment, ease of access, visa, how do you come in and go out? How easily do I bring in equipment and take it out? Basic stuff, customs, and we have consolidated all those issues into a framework, an incentives framework, which we have convinced Treasury that that incentives framework will be the ignition to unleash the full potential of, of the film industry in this country. And as soon as we finish our conversation with Treasury, it is heading to cabinet in the form of a formal white paper that then can carry the full weight of, of, of government. Let me assure you, good people, in initiatives such as bringing Halu to Kenya, opening up our scenic landscapes for filmmakers, demonstrate our commitment to nurturing local talent and showcasing the beauty of our country on the global stage. While co-production agreements that we have signed with South Africa, with China, signify a strategic approach to expanding the reach and impact of Kenyan cinema. I'm very happy that even the African um, uh, Audiovisual Commission the African Audiovisual Commission is going to be hosted right here in, in, in Nairobi, in Kenya, which for me again offers us as a country an incredible platform to bring to life our very Pan-African, our very cross-border approach to this industry and to the creative economy in general. Ladies and gentlemen, my ministry is focused on developing a policy framework to incentivize investors in the film industry. It's a crucial step towards sustainability and growth. As we finalize discussions with Treasury and move towards submitting the policy framework to cabinet for adoption, I'm convinced that our vision for the creative arts continues to bear fruit, ensuring that talented Kenyans have the support they need to thrive and that pay some Fukoni becomes a reality for many more. That's our mantra, Talanta Hela Pesam Fukoni. If it's not Pesam Fukoni for you, then it's just an empty story. And we don't want stories a Jabba Hapa. We want real things that put real money in people's pockets and transform lifestyles and transform livelihoods. So remember that, Talanta Hela Pesam Fukoni. That is why at the last Kalashas last year, I announced a doubling of the cash awards. And I know that last year, there was some lag between the, the cash award and the actual person Fukoni in your pocket. I have made arrangement that this year, and I've told Timothy, I don't want any lag. It should be Talanta Hela person Fukoni in real time for these guys. They don't want to wait. And um, the implementation of these structure rewards and recognition system underscores our commitment to honoring the contribution that you make, you creatives, you artists make, to enrich our lives through your work. And we must continue, we must continue enhancing the package that is available to you through, through these awards. Our youth are the heartbeat of our nation. And it's incumbent upon us to empower them with the resources and opportunities they need to thrive in the film industry. We applaud initiatives such as the Kalasha Market and Awards, which play a crucial role in shaping the next generation of storytellers. I want this evening to celebrate Kenyan innovators whose creations are proving that we can provide local solutions through locally assembled material. I am so excited that some of the equipment being used in this room tonight is actually 
an invention of young Kenyan innovators. And, and, and really this is something I want to assure you and you have put together a very robust program through the Kenya National Innovation Agency which is an agency under my ministry to support that whole ecosystem. We are at a very advanced stage with the startup bill which is to support that ecosystem of innovation. So you guys who are creating equipment and material that can help to make it cheaper to run this ecosystem, you are in a good space. And our eye is on you, and we will support you fully. And that is why we are set to launch an accelerator program for the creative industries. Talanta Stories will address the entire ecosystem from creation to business under what we are calling the Kenya Creative Economy Accelerator Problem, the KCEAP. Ladies and gentlemen, sports and arts have the power to transcend barriers and inspire change, and I urge all of us to harness this power to build a more inclusive and prosperous Kenya. To our esteemed guests from the region, I hope you've had the time to really mingle in this beautiful city, and to all our filmmakers here tonight, I extend my sincere gratitude for your tireless dedication and unwavering, unwavering passion. You are the driving force behind our industry success, and tonight we celebrate each and every one of you and say, Hongera. Thank you to the jury, the dedicated staff of the Kenya Film Commission, our partners, the media, for your unwavering support. Remember tonight, we are all winners, all of us who make this ecosystem tick. We are all winners. And our media, you can see our media gathered here in good numbers. I sing about this every time I get an opportunity. Local content, local content, local content. Let us give prominence to local content. It is pointless to invest so much time and effort to produce and then relegate our productions, which are of far superior quality to some things you go picking up in Acapulco and other places. Air Kenyan content to support this industry. <laughs> Hongera, everybody, and congratulations to all the nominees and the winners. Asante Nisana. Asante Sana, Honorable Cabinet Secretary. Let's give him another round of applause. Indeed, tonight we have gathered to echo the CS's words to celebrate the creme de la creme of Kenyan creatives in the film and television sector. He has made mention of the creative economy and just what that means. And I'll tell you what it means to me. Everybody gathered here tonight is a part of the creative economy. Four years ago, the world stopped and life changed. The future of work as we knew it was gone and innovated and built upon, and we cannot go back to what used to be. It is all about what is, and the creative economy truly is the future. It starts with everybody who's gathered here, and we salute you and celebrate you. Absolutely. Another round of applause again for the CS as he echoed local content, local content, local content. I can tell you for a fact, many of us in these many years since we started out in this local scene until where we are, we've lived off of it. We've taken our kids to school. <laughs> we have grown into it. That is what he says, local content. If you don't believe more so, Ken Ambani is sitting right there. That's local content. <laughs> believe that. 
And so we begin with tonight's awards. And for that start, we'll throw it across the room to Claudia and Fareed. All right, thank you very, very, very much, Sheila and Mark Ball. And of course, thank you, Honorable CS, for that wonderful speech. And all the speakers who have uh, taken the stage already this evening, super excited about the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Television. And I'm as excited Awards. as you are. Yes. Now, I want to be given credit. For With what? you, you're holding um, the Samsung Z Fold. I am. And as the, is it millennial, is it? Tell me, where do I place you? I think you? I'm one above millennial, but I don't Okay, know. yeah. Um, as creators, we like being given credit. So please, give me my credits. I taught you how to use this, guys. Yeah, there's a slight age difference between you and I. Mm. I think I've been in slight. the industry longer yeah, than you've been alive. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the awards. Everyone ready to get on with the 13th edition of the Clash International Film and Television Awards? Because that's going to happen right now. What's the first category? The first category is Best Lighting Technician. And ladies and gentlemen, this award is for the person who is responsible for creating the look and feel of a production. They work closely with directors, cinematographers, producers, set designers, and other members of the creative team to determine how the light will be used in each scene. For the Best Lighting Technician, here are your nominees. Category of Best Lighting Technician. The nominees are Jordan Daniels, Where the River Divides, Joseph Churu, Act of Love, Jetro Omusieni, Half O. And so let's invite over to the stage Mr. Peter Kawa, a film producer, actor, and CEO at Spearhead Entertainment, to hand over the first award to the first winner of the night. So two days ago, at the film market, I met a gentleman called Walter Odhiambo. He's a three-time Kalasha Award winner. And we had a very light chat. And I told him, thank God you've been doing international films for the past two days, I mean two years. So that means you don't get to be nominated and win automatically in this year. So I can confidently confirm that this envelope does not have Walter Odhiambo's name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to announce to you the winner of Best Lighting Technician, and that would be Joseph Shuru, Act of Love. A big round of applause for the evening's first winner. Congratulations to Joseph Churu from Act of Love. We now move on to our next category, and this one is the Best Special Effects category. It's an award for the Master in Artificial Visual Effects, stimulating imagined events, contributing to the visual experience of the audience. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Special Effects, the nominees are Jirongo Luyali, The War Within. Omar Hamza, Itifaki. David Yalenga, Where the River Divides. Gladys Njeri, Bazenga. And B. Maina Wanjohi, Mvera.
And here to present this award is Mr. Patrick Ngeri from the National Executive Committee member of the Kenya Music and Cultural Festival. Please welcome him and give him a big round of applause. Special Effects winner, Omar Hamza Itifaki. Congratulations to you. Awesome, Omar Hamza. We'll skip a bit forward and award this amazing piece, the Lifetime Achievement, which has been in the film industry for over 29 years and has worked on over 30 feature films, including two Oscars, uh, including Nowhere in Africa in 2001, In a Better World in 2011, and Golden Globe in a Better World in the same year and over 50 TV commercials, including Suzuki, CBA, Airtel, Rabobank, Humana, among many others. Featured as well, over 30 TV films, series, and reality shows, Bogan, BBC, Taking the Flag, Banged Up Abroad, amongst many others. Also, serviced countless documentaries. And we'd like to call upon stage to award this one. Tafadali, Bona CS. Honorable CS of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, we'd like to request that you come up to the stage to present this probably once in a lifetime achievement. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Oh. Sorry. Polly Sana. Right. But I'm telling you, this is what my youth gives you. <laughs> You're not just going to fall. You will keep running and keep moving forward. Absolutely. All of us, Kesho Tukoji, Jim. Yes. Absolutely. May we have the winner, please? We'd like the envelope with the name of our Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Okay. And the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Jenny Pont, or Pontact. Productions. Let us all rise up. Let us honor our Lifetime Achievement Award winner with a standing ovation. First we take the photos and then we hear a word or two from an award winner. Extraordinaire. Um, thank you. Thank you, Kalasha. I can't believe that um, I was on the first board of Kenya Film Commission and we had our first board meetings under a tree because we didn't have an office. And to see this tonight is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and what a wonderful, vibrant, young film um, business we have now. I'm really excited about it. Onward and upward.
Asante sana. Thank you, Honorable CS. You may take your seat. And our Lifetime Award winner, one more round of applause for her. This creative economy truly starts at birth. Many of you here began your acting, your singing, your writing, your production career when you were very young. And you all represent the hopes and dreams of young Kenya, but you're also telling the story of all Kenya. Another round of applause for yourselves. Right, so on with the show. Next up, the next category is... The Best Special Effects Category. This is an award for the master. Oh no, we've just done that. Right? We have done that. Shall we skip on? Uh, yes, please. And go into the best editor. This is an award is for the guru who is uh, responsible for managing and bringing together the footage, dialogue, sound effect, graphics, and special effects, produce, and final film. Basically, the masterminds behind the scenes. And the nominees are... In the category of best editor, the nominees are... Hana Wangari, A Familiar Christmas. Kome Mwirabua, Act of Love. Omar Hamza, Itifaki. MD Nili, Derek Hameke, In Where the River Divides. Steve Biko, Murdered for Love. And here to present the award, I'd like to request Dr. Ezekiel Onyango, the chairperson of the Kenya Film and Television Professionals Association, to hand over the award. And I'll tell you what, tonight, the winner in this category gets 50,000 shillings as well from multi-choice. We'd like to have the envelope Tafadali. And the winner this year, Kalasha, for best editing, comes from the production called Act of Love and is none other than Kome Mwirebao. Tafadali, come up for your award. And remember, this comes with 50,000 shillings. Haribu to the stage. I'll be very happy to receive it on your behalf. <laughs> I, I can receive the cash. <laughs> it's from Multi Choice. I'll hold on to it for you if you don't make it tonight. <laughs> A big round of applause, Tafadali. Congratulations to you. And thank you very much to MultiChoice for this wonderful cash incentive of 50,000 shillings. Awesome. On with the show. And the next category as we skip on. Best Supporting Actor in a Film Award if for an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of the main character. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... In the category of Best Supporting Actor in a Film, the nominees are... Samson Omondi as Adili in Half Open Window. Jock Hulk Shiramutinda as Agent John in Itifaki. Benjamin Onyango as a court in Where the River Divides. 
Michael Oluoch as Jawinam in Agonda and Franco Gutu as Otile in Tembe. And here to present that award, we'd like to request Ms. Faith Kingola, the Marketing and Communications Representative, Africa, Vietnam and Poland, from Transperfect Media to come through. Thank you. And we'd like the usher with the envelope to please come up as well to present this envelope and the award. This particular category also features a surprise gift as well. A 55-inch television from Star Times Kenya. And this year's Best Supporting Actor in a Film, Jack Hulk Shira Mutinda. Absolutely amazing, congratulations. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Very, very well done to you. Mr. Jack Mutinda, also known as Hulk Shira. Better known as an actor, even better as an influencer. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, let me just give you a brief story. Growing up, I was brought up by a single mom. We lived in a two-roomed house. The first room was the salon where she used to make her source of livelihood. The second one served as our living room, our bedroom, our kitchen, and sometimes my bathroom. I remember a day I asked her, why have you never bought a TV? She was like, there's no way I can buy a TV when you're next to me. I mean, you're too much entertainment. I can't handle you and a TV. So since that day, it was my dream to become an actor. But never in my wildest imagination did I ever dream of one day standing on the stage and be recognized as one of the best in the country. So this award goes out to all the kids out there, all the people out there who have all the odds against them. Believe in yourself, have passion, never stop at anything, and you'll get this. And last but not least, she's not here to see this, but she's always been my anchor and support. Mom, this is for you. Congratulations to you. Karibu sana. Very well done. Don't forget your bag. And your TV. Utabeba <laughs> 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 Eh, Utabeba TV. Uh, well, uh, they'll bring it. Don't worry. They'll bring it. Just take a photo with it. Photo model is a must. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Leo Atulali. <laughs> Congratulations to you. We move on to our next category, and this is the Best Supporting Actress in a Film. It is a category that awards the actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of the main character. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Supporting Actress in a Film, the nominees are... Wangui Moirori as Imani in Half Open Window. Kibibi Salim as Saumu in Vera. Brenda Mwai as Millie Chanya in The Caller. Ruth Kamanzi as Immaculate in A Familiar Christmas. Ann Muli as Koki in Murder Camp. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have the award in the envelope coming up as 
We have the chairperson and executive director, Kenya International Theatres, Kenya Theatres Award to hand over the award, Mr. Benson Gobia. This award comes with a 55-inch television and a voucher for two at the Royal Tulip. And the winner is Brenda Mwai, Mili Chanya in the collar. Congratulations to you, Brenda Mwai. Best Supporting Actress in a Film, Brenda, what's happening? Um, I think you're going to pick it up on behalf of that's Brenda. Brian. Uh, sorry, uh, Brenda couldn't be here. She had a parenting emergency. But I shall receive the TV on her behalf. And who might you be? <laughs> who are you? Who are you and who might you be? Uh, 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 my name is Brian Munene. Uh, Mpesa number 0725. <laughs> um, Brian Munene, I was the producer and writer for The Caller. Um, this is an honor for her. It was her first nomination. I do not know how that phone call will be, but we will see. <laughs> well, we'd like you to take a picture just in case. <laughs> Brenda asks you guys. <laughs> and maybe leave the TV. And very well done to you, Brenda. Her first nomination ever, and it comes with the first win. Have you ever won a Kalasha, my poor? So, I, the interesting story is, I've been nominated once on the second edition of the Kalashas. I hosted the fifth, wasn't nominated. I hosted the eighth, wasn't nominated. I'm hosting the 13th, guess what? But seriously, Makbo, did you really think you were going to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees, including myself. Including myself. <laughs> and I've just won, so hold the mic, Sheila, I'm Absolute. going to win. Nonetheless, an amazing wealth of talent, and I am honored to be part of them. Speaking of talent, we've got two co-hosts on the extreme end, and I'd like to throw us back to Claudia and Farid as we continue with tonight's ceremony. All right, thanks very much, uh, Sheila and Mark Ball, and congratulations to all our winners so far and to all the nominees. We've got a number of categories to get through uh, and continue, plus some entertainment as well. And Claudia is somewhere in this crowd. I'm right behind you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I just decided to blend in with the stars. As you can see, I'm in a table. And in this table, we have Eugene Bogwa, Sarah Hassan, Rao Joel, Brenda Wairimu. You can also see Lulu Hassan. So it's a star-studded table. But there's someone who really stood out for me, all right? She's from South Africa, from the Africa Creative Agency. She's the one who discovered Tyler, if I do say so myself. And um, she's very uh, much in support of the Kenya creative industry. Now, she's called Cabello. And I was just asking her on the side, who are you rooting for tonight? Who are your favorites? Which category are you looking forward to? Wow, I don't have a favorite because I feel like, you know, when a mother has children, she can't choose her favorite child. So I'm just wishing everyone luck and thank you for having me here. So there is no particular person you want to shout out? Okay, got it. Cabello, thank you so much. And um, right next to her is Eugene Bugwa. This guy <laughs> has a whole category to himself. Please. Yeah, he has, a, Sorry. he has a whole category to himself. So Eugene Bugwa, apart from you, who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for Cabello. I'm rooting for Cabello. You guys are playing jokes with me now. Uh -uh, I don't want this. Anyway, let me throw it back to you so that you can invite the performing act. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have entertainment as well as more awards to give away. But right now, put your hands together for Okello Max. You don't need no man. 
guests who's feeling hungry just a little bit anybody feeling hungry put your hand up there's no shame in this game <laughs> food what hands in the air who 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 natum ime pikwa kupikwa leo mikono mbili yes those are my people now what's going to happen is our ushers are going to come to each table so that we're not over there going crazy trying to stuff watermelon na juice na chapati na mchele and even so please if that's what makes your heart happy sini lazima na sio tafadhali so the ushers are coming over to allow us an opportunity to get some food because the night is still young and when the award ceremony is done we must go dancing oh dancing is it just me who am i from a generation that dances What's going on? 
I think this is hunger, Makbu. It totally is. It totally is. And then there's no more discotheque. At umeita nini? Discotheque. They don't even know what I just said. Makbu, I'm team young. I'm team creative economy. Hatuzeki huku. Discotheque we. Discotheque we. All right. I think our performer will be gracing the stage a little later. Indeed. And we still have, apart from Okelo Max, uh, we still have uh, Nviri. Fans of Nviri? Absolutely. There you go. All right. Now, you know, this whole week marked several firsts and very significant occurrences as we celebrate the award ceremony tonight. Who made it to the market event? Show of hands. You know, that market had all kinds of fantastic activities. There was an exhibition. There were also presentations in the name of master classes. Exactly. Where we get to showcase and listen to the best of the best, present innovative skills and tips and tricks as well. Did you make it? I didn't make it, but I saw some of the clips that were there. Inf interesting conversations happening in and around the future of acting in Kenya as well. As we know, technology is taking over, and there was an interesting debate about AI and how it might be taking over creativity, but also at the same time trying to merge with the systems. It's going to be a very interesting time in the future. All right. When I see videos online, sometimes it becomes very difficult to tell the difference between something real and, someone, and something that is AI-generated. Do you think they'll succeed our Kenyan mannerisms with AI? <laughs> Might be a bit difficult. I'm telling you, my big top thing to look out for. The day they can perfect AI that says, me, I think. <laughs> me, I. Me, I know. <laughs> Then that we're really in trouble. Yes, 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 absolutely. And a round of applause for all the guys who are there, some of the panelists who made it possible for this. Uh, my good friend, Mr. Dr. Ezekiel Onyango. Makofi Tafadali to Dr. Ezekiel Onyango. So, what, what, what a lot of people don't know is we started together with uh, Dr. Ezekiel Onyango at KBC. For those who remember 20, many years ago, uh, a show called Reflections when we were young and nimble. And here we are now. Still young and nimble. Why are you aging yourself? I'm, I'm just saying, it's been a minute. But it's okay to age. <laughs> we age gracefully. Absolutely. Now, tonight's categories will feature winners from children's um, productions. We are looking at, of course, we've done lighting. Indeed. We've got documentaries. We've got, of course, the actors and the actresses. We've already celebrated the Lifetime Achievement Award, and there's still more to come. Absolutely. First of all, I'd like to honor some of the people who are in this room. Like I said earlier on, if all of you remember back in the day, Tausi, Makofi Tavadali to Ken Ambani. Good sir, you never seem to age. You never seem to age, my good man. And now in Mombasa County, part of the Mombasa County, and of course, making waves uh, in terms of the creative spaces as well. Hey. Now, as dinner is being served, we are ready for tonight's first, actually not first, second entertainer on stage. Fantastic. We just heard his song. All oh, right. Okay, hello. He's already done press-ups, Nini. Where is Please. he? Do you le pale? Eh? You don't know Okelo okay, Max? Hey, I have to see him first. I can't believe. Is, is he there? Okay, Lo, are you there? Tafadali, he's ready. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, Lo, come on stage. Come on stage so we can believe you're here. As well, we've got the Sarakasi dancers lined up. Sarakasi dancers? We've got the Sarakasi dancers as well a little later. But first, Okelo Max, welcome to the stage. Yeah, 
Sani won kane baba nani DJ shikilia tafadhali anza tena Aha how are you ni How are you ni My name is Okelo Max and I'm here to entertain you for the night for only 2 minutes Tafadhali DJ nipe mambo yangu I hope we make a candle in your symbol. I'm on stand, I'm Rembo. Sani won gane baba nani Maduwea Apake sule mwano chika ire Kendo wa yeko Sembona ni yonge gari tokite Onyako mami ngwana Ahero sana Silo anu mamana Ya bata mabuwea kakoyo chama Ya sembo noromo Ni mae mbasna Onge gakora Viga na nene onge ga Mamma, mamma, That's just some simple French. I say, Nyasembo, that is my wife. Umetoshana na mimi. Kama umeka kando ya mrembo mwambie, wewe ni mbasna. Wewe ni size yangu. Sawa, nipatie number two. Hii kwanza, kama imekubamba, tafadhali utasimama tu, hii ni mziki bila jasho. Na kufa. Ah. Sheri kimula mimi na kufa Ani nyajo moko mami toyo fuendena Ahero sana piliru ndoga wia Nyati jomo kadiri lalo gabacha Todonga dengo tika yudo konyurokna Aniwe ya uru monda sunge jabata Opongto mola toti unani malisa Nisi na wewe milele mpaka kufa Unisalie watoto mama Na kuwaidi utoko sa Aye hitho gode monda ketie kuone mesa Aseko ye inkora teri mosa nyola mama na Muziki santima, muziki bila jasho Ayy Sheri, mama, baby, na kufa na kufa na kufa, 
nakufa 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 sheri mama baby nakufa 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 my mama sheri usiniache nitakufa e Kilo na poni piki ya simu lazima ni takuja. Ukisema ni kuje jioni ni tanuno achupa mama. Lolo tu benda nemba kakuva. Oh Sherry, ma penzi ya leo na ukopa. Kwanza warembo angolopa. Wameweka mitego kwenye mapa. Oh Lord, ila ukini tega si tokata ni takuva. Nita iba mama, nita changa, nita ima. Oh 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 oh, tu benda nemba kakuva. Sherry, sing with me, mama. Nakuva, nakuva, nakuva. Nakufa, 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 Sherry, Mama, Baby. Nakufa, 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 Baby, Baby. Nisha achana na mafomu za Ashura, Baby. Ata na fula namba ya keni mefuta na kuashua. Usi kusilali na ona sura ya kumbrembo. Daily na tamani wakoni ge kuwa visible na testo na rada kila niki kona na ujama kweli mama unani fa wani uwa. How do I live without you, baby? Nenya hube wanje ni peleke eregi Kwa mama ni mweleze na baba That I need you in my life Naona wivu When I see you Geld in hands Kama mwezi usiku Baby, you know you're the one Sherry Mama Mama, baby, na kufa na kufa na kufa. Asante sana. Ah, si juu ni achi apa mani pige moja ya muisho. Ya muisho mani ende na apa. Tunesa skia kelele kidogo koma jirani. Nipatia iyo 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 next. DJ ni tuangie Santuri. Aye. Hapa lakini hakuna majirani but tutawapata. <laughs> Nasikia kelele kwa jirani. Kwa nini vita ama hii ni raha gani? Mwingine anasema a, ah, mwingine anasema u. Kwa nini mapenzi yamegeuzwa kwa kumfuna vile kwangu kuna bo. Nasikiza ma Franco. People don't need to be funny anyway. Action night. Watoto alale by nine. Niku dunge vaccine. Leo movie ni ya Shaolin. Vita vya ki kung fu, kung fu. DJ Afro kuja utanga ze drama. Vita vya ki chingu, chingu. Kabla mechi yanze mgongo nta kukanda. Tumefunga na pingu, pingu Moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda Okelo mano kungfu, kungfu Biene mena kungfu, kungfu Ati woi woi mama, woi woi mama Unazunguka kama nyoka, anakonda Woi woi mama, woi woi mama Unateleza kama mrenda 
Aki ni mependa, kisi pera Vile na ipenda mixi ya broila na kenyeji Vibes, ebu geuza Osheri samaki ya iliwi pande moja Action, action nice Ufike kwangu by nine Nimetema taxi Na amenyo wa Shaolin Halo Vita vya ki kung fu Kung fu DJ Afro kuja utanga ze drama Vita vya ki chinku Chinku kabla mechi enze mgongo nita kukanda Tumefunga na pingu Pingu moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda Okelo mano kung fu Na suda mano kung fu Sheri ni peleke Thailand Na mimi ni kupeleke Bangkok Tuishi ju ya island Tuishi maisha ya kiba ilando Kuja tufanye mambo, mambo Ni kukunje, ni kufunze ango, ango Movie na soundtrack ya bango, bango Action unapewa ni ya rambo Action not Ufike kwangu by nine Halo Nimete matakisin Na amenyo wa shaolin Mambo safi kabisa Vita vya kikungfu Kungfu DJ Afro kuja utangaze drama Vita vya kichinku Chinku kabla mechi anze mgongo nita kukanda Tumefunga na pingu Pingu moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda Okelo mano kungfu Piene mena kungfu Na suda mano kungfu Kungfu Thank you so much, my name is Okelo Max You can stream my music everywhere I love you all Have a good night guys Another big round of applause. Another big round of applause, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. To my talk talker, Warembo Wangolova, to my Skiliza Kung Fu. Which one was your best song? The first one, the second, all of them. Zote. Uh, meanwhile, I love the way there's a fantastic, dignified moment right here, enjoying the music. On that corner over there, Sema Kujiwa Chilia. There you go. I'm telling you, the winners, <laughs> they have every reason to celebrate tonight. But everybody is a winner. Congratulations to all nominees. To be here tonight and celebrate your achievements is a pleasure and an honor. But music is an integral part of the creative industry. And when we watch our favorite films and TV shows, there's always a little music. Absolutely, it makes part of the creative aspect of it. Whenever you're watching a movie, the moving moments where the character may be down or they may be up, music supports that and makes it even better. Right, which brings us to our category of the best original score. This is an award for a piece of music written and tailored to guide and enhance the emotion and mood of a specific film. And here are this year's nominees. And the nominees are Alex Mugenda, Huvera, Israel Bandon, an instant dad. Lucas Munali, act of love. Kali McKeeston, where the river divides. And Ladbi Omez, Agonda. Fantastic. And as the award comes on stage, we'd like to call upon Mr. Frederick Karumba, AKA DJ Crowbar, to come present the award to the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, how is everyone doing tonight? This bunch of guys named up here are very talented human beings and they have a very special skill of taking something serious and make it funny or make something funny turn absolutely serious. Let's get to see who's this amazing magician with us tonight. All right, the best original score was done by Mr. Israel 
Brandon. A round of applause as the gentleman rises up. All right, is he around? Israel? Or someone to collect the award on his behalf? All right, there's someone coming in. All right, there's a lady coming. All right, Kuja. Uh, Brandon wasn't here to, uh, wasn't able to make it, but uh, we are very excited to be getting this award. <laughs> Thank you very much, DJ Crowbar. We move on to our next category, Still on Sound. And this one is an award for Best Sound Designer. It's an award for the professional who's responsible for providing any required sounds to a company screen action. And the nominees in this category are... Best Sound Designer. And the nominees are... Felix Muema, an instant dad. Baru Patrick, act of love. Omar Hamza, Itifaki. Zach DeVries, where the river divides. Masi Adundo, Venom, beyond the bite. Fantastic. And we'd like to request the nominees once you come on stage and receive your gift to head on outside at the red carpet. There is an interview waiting for you to call on to this stage right now uh, to award this one. Uh, artist responsible for the visual and experience, Miss, uh, actually, Miss Celestine Gashui, actress, to come over and uh, award this one. Also better known as Selena. Makofi Tafadali. This category comes with a cash prize, and it also comes with a hamper from Multi Choice Kenya. Remember, our winners, we've got an interview booth outside that's set up just for you, so we can get your precious moments and record them for posterity. Hi everyone, um, the best sound designer, Mbaru Patrick, Act of Love. Let's give her a big round of applause. And earlier today, she won her own award for Best Editor. And we get to hear a few words from her for the same. Uh, thank you, Makbu. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Shelly Nwangari. I'm the producer, Act of Love. And uh, this is for Patrick Mbaru. And uh, the other one was for Kome. So yeah, not me, the winner per se. I was just collecting, thank you. But we didn't hear from you when you won your award. Uh, that was uh, the editor, Kome Mwerubia. I was just collecting for him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for being so gracious. To all of this evening's winners, we'd like to record your thoughts, your moment, your happiness. Please join us in the recording booth outside of this auditorium for that moment. We now move on to our next category, which is the Best Costume Designer. It is an award for the artist responsible for the visual appearance of the actor's clothes, jewelry, accessories, yani the full look. No, it's all about looks. 
Aya, let's take a look at this year's nominees. Best Costume Designer And the nominees are Edawa Kesho Where the River Divides Michael Zyokin Bibi A Very Merry Xmas Joy Dena Uvera Vivian Jerry Act of Love And Aisha Mudoni Bazenga And as we prepare to find out who the winner is, I'd like to request Mr. Jillian Macharia, the managing partner from Well Made Strategy, to please come up to hand over the award. And the winner for Best Costume Designer, Where the River Divides, Ada Wakesho. Do we have a representative who could collect this? Or we have the actual winner with us? Please make your way to the stage, Kimbia. You get to win a Samsung hamper and 50,000 shillings, lady. Do you see why I was telling you, Kimbia? Thank you. Hi guys. Yo, I'm very shy, but I'll try. Um, <laughs> I first love to thank God. Um, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have this gift without him. Um, I'd, like to I'd like to thank GNPI for allowing God to use them for this film. Um, I'd like to thank Nancy for roping me in <laughs> in this amazing film. I'd like to thank my family, uh, my son, who has, been, who has been an amazing supporter. I'd like to thank the cast and the crew of Where the River Divides. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Ruben Odanga, who introduced me to this industry. 20... <laughs> like... <laughs> see God, see God. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm shaking. Yeah, for those who have not mentioned, I'm sorry, but I love you guys. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Julian Rashari, as well. And we'd like to request one more time the nominees, once you're done, to head on outside. There's an interview waiting for you on the red carpet. Now, the next category is Best Makeup Artist. Now, this award is the artist who is responsible for helping actors portray their characters by applying cosmetics and prosthetics to enhance their on-screen appearances in a film or on TV. And the nominees are... Best Makeup and Hair Stylist. And the nominees are Eva Waiderero, Act of Love, Fatma Muhyiddin Kayla, Vera, Classford Saul, A Familiar Christmas, Jerry Gadero, Where the River Divides, and Purity Makandi, Half Open Window. This prize comes with a 50,000 shillings cash prize and it also comes with a hamper from Samsung. To present this award, please welcome on stage Dr. Susan Gitimu, a director from Women in Film Awards. And the winner, makeup artist, Fatma Mugudin Kaira Mbera. Congratulations, Fatma. You get to win 50,000 shillings and a gift hamper from Samsung. 
very well done. Karibu sana, pick up your prize and your award as we listen to your thank you speech as well. Let's give her a round of applause again. <laughs> She's still in shock. A round of applause for Fatma. <laughs> Fatma, you may not have had the words here, but please join us on the red carpet so that we can finally get to hear from you. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Best Documentary Feature. Now, this award is for non-fictional motion pictures that gives facts and information about a subject or a topic. And the nominees are... Best Feature Documentary Limo on the Run Jockey Muhoho The Heartbreak Documentary Dennis Ocheng Madad for Love John Allen Namo Rajo Peter Nolo And Death of a Kenyan Harris The Last Door John Allen Namo this award also carries a 100,000 shilling cash prize and it also has a Samsung gift hamper. To present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. Victor Okello, the Head of Licensing, Nairobi Region, Kenya Film Classification Board. Karibu sana. Open the envelope. And let's find out who's won. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Best documentary feature. And the winner is uh, John Alan Namo. Winning the award and a hundred thousand shillings plus a gift hamper from Samsung. Congratulations to John Allen Namu. Might not be John Allen. <laughs> Don't remember him having that hair. Uh, my name is Elijah Kanye on behalf of John Allen. Um, his producer, he couldn't make it because of family, some stuff. And I'm here as his producer, The Last Door. If you've not watched it, please do, because it's one of the kind in our country. Please make time and watch The Last Door on multi-choice. Fantastic. Awesome. On behalf of John Allen, The Last Door, of course, you can catch it on Multi-Choice. An amazing, amazing in-depth analysis of some of the darkest stories and stories that are unsolved in this amazing country of ours. Next up, Best Documentary Short. And this is uh, an award, of course, non-fictional motion picture that gives facts and information, again, about a subject and a topic which uh, a running minute of about 40 minutes or less. The nominees are... Best Short Documentary and the nominees are Embracing Brilliance Samuel Oduor Venom Beyond the Bite Morris Onyango Kiwu Thirst for Survival Michael Muloa Coffee Production Documentary Dekut KFC Film Hub The Pink Champions Omar Kibulanga from Mind Me International, to present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. John Wambugo.
Good evening, everyone. You look all fantastic. And on behalf of the staff, the board, and the partners of MindBe International, the winner of the best documentary short is Coffee Production Documentary by the Good Film Hub. The strongholds are here, very well represented. Welcome on stage and congratulations to you. Right after that, we'll have a representative speak. And remember, winners, we are interviewing your precious moment from tonight on the red carpet. So please don't leave without making time to get that recorded. Good evening. We are humbled. We are a team. We thank God for this far. We thank the jury for believing in us. We are from Dedan Kimathi University of Technology in Nyeri, disrupting the space of education through film, animation, and gaming. Thank you. Merci. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we take a beat. And at this point, we'd like to pay homage to some of the industry greats who made an impact and gave us memories to last a lifetime before they were called to the heavens Hall of Fame. I'd like to request that we all have a one minute of silence as a show of respect to those who have gone before us. Let us now pay homage to our fallen greats. Their works will live on forever. And as creatives, we don't say goodbye. We live on through our works. We'd like to cross over to Farid for our next category. All right, thanks very much, Sheila and Mark Bull. And yes, legends, heroes, uh, and I think it's safe to say 
Without them, there would be no us. So just another big round of applause for that in memoriam clip. And for those fallen heroes who are still with us uh, and give us their inspiration each and every day in this wonderful, beautiful, creative space. And speaking of creative spaces, ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible artist coming onto the stage now. So please, please put your hands together for Niviri, the storyteller. How you feeling tonight? Bazi chana wengi Wana pena kudi ita baby Siju ina nini na mapezi How can wood man find it out to be one? Oh, oh, oh Tika pata wenye menisgadi Hawajui jezi ya kukendi Walking that you only shall see me. I'm like, no, 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 girl. Then the good I must leave me. Sound the sign of the baby. Look at what he did in the day. I love for nothing, kid. I love the kid. I did the thing is I. I'm a daddy with a go crazy. Oh, with a go crazy. I love for nothing, kid. I love the kid. I did the thing is I. I'm a daddy with a go crazy. Once again, I'm viewing the storyteller. Thank you very much. Come out of play. Let me see your body move to Macarena. Say it. Lead away. Can I be right beside you? Yes, you are my kind of baby. I'm like, no, 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 girl. Then I put on my sleeves. Now I'm deciding to get it. You got so hilly, hilly, hilly. Now for the ladies. I love you, but I hate you. I hate you. I can't take it. I'm not even with a girl. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Now for those who don't know, my name is Vivi, the storyteller. Universal charger, strike number nine. A.K.A. Buona Shere. Mimi si buona yako, mimi buona shere. Let's go. One, two, three. Mimi si buona yako, mimi buona shere. Mimi buona shere, mimi buona shere. Mimi si buona yako, mimi. Let's 
That's one of the songs in the album. I just mean when it's time to party, it's time to party, in it? Oh, Bobe. Now is I want you be like, like me. Now sing along. Oh, Bobe. Uh -huh. Give it up for so generation and the But I saw the situation of Boca Tricky. He let you want a pandemic. Contribution for Tim of PC. Who could I rob? Hey, situation of Boca Tricky. Why go? Who see me when they come back? Watch go. Oh, for me, for me. Now is that what you be like? Now one more time, sing it with me. Oh, Bobe, God. Kaka. Now is that what you feel like to be like? Like it is. But say, I feel like I'm a bad guy. That's my time, Nairobi. I'm with the storyteller, Universal Charger, striker number nine. Merci. Let's give him another round of applause. He's taken us through his earlier hits and his current Wana Shere. What is Bibi Shere? Yamani. Bibi Shere, who copy? Oh, me, yeah, I tell you, Bibi Shere. I'll see you. Tonight, I am one of them. First of all, let me just appreciate. Uh, I think the men can attest to this. Tafadali, let's give our ladies a round of applause. They're looking absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely tonight. Including my co-host right here. Thank you very much. Including Claudia, who was on the red carpet. Please give yourselves, ladies, a big round of applause. Yo, yo, yo. And yo. thank you, gentlemen, for appreciating us. And we'd like to appreciate you, too. You. Including... Our honorable CS, looking good, Kama Kawaida. A big round of applause to the gentleman who read the invite and came through as dictated. Absolutely. Shall we move on to the next category? Yes, please. Awesome. Please go ahead. Okay. This award is the Best Production Designer Award, and this goes to a master who's responsible for identifying design style for sets, locations, graphics, props, lighting, camera angles, and costumes to be used in the film. And here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Production Designer, the nominees are Richie Mulama in Act of Love, Hamisi Mwafrika in Vera. Nancy Alort in Where the River Divides. June Dinya in A Familiar Christmas. And Catherine Mwema in Murdered for Love. And to hand over this award, please welcome Production and Development Manager, Fictional at Nun uh, National Film and Video Foundation South Africa to present the award, Miss Refilo Laboy.
Oh, do pardon us for interrupting. Saubona. <laughs> Saubona nawe. <laughs> the best category for production design goes to Nancy Oluch for Weather River Dubai. Karibu on stage. Congratulations to you. Remember, after your moment on stage, we're waiting for you on the red carpet to record your moment from this evening. Let's give her another round of applause. Good evening, everyone. Okay, production designers don't talk much. We just like to show. <laughs> but I'd like to thank GNPI Africa for the opportunity to design. MD Neely, all the way in Missouri, America. My director for trusting me with his vision. I'd like to thank my friends, June Dinya, Ed Kesho, and the cast and crew of Where the River Divides. It took us one year to prep this film, and this is what we've ripped from that one year of pre-production. Thank you to the cast and crew of Where the River Divides. And thank you to my partner, my son, my family for loving me right. Thank you. Congratulations to you. As you make your way to your seat, please remember to also make your way to the red carpet so that we can record more of your thoughts from tonight's win. We now move on to our next category, which is the Best Original Screenplay. This is an award for the best film, script, based on one's own creative ideas. And here are the nominees. In the category of Best Original Screenplay, the nominees are Mud Blood in Where the River Divide, Brian Munene in The Caller, Volin Ogutu and Kahindi Ya in Vera, Teddy Gitao in Half Open Window, Gadoni Kamau in Murder Camp. On stage to award this, please welcome a member of the Kenyan Oscars Jury Committee, Ms. Eda Kiruhi. It is my pleasure to present to you the best original screenplay, Matt Black, Where the River Divides. Congratulations to you. May we have a representative? of applause. Thank you so much, Makul. Um, on behalf of, definitely I'm not Matt Black, but on behalf of Matt Black, I'd like to say thank you to the jury, thank you to the Kenya Film Commission, Kalasha Awards for this amazing 
award. It has to reach him and he has to know that he has taken this amazing award. Thank you. Congratulations to you. This award also comes with a gift hamper from Samsung. And that makes way for our next category. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the tail end of our event and the next category is Best Short Film. Now this award goes to a motion picture that is short with a running time of not more than 45 minutes. The nominees are... Best Short Film and the nominees are... Hell or High Water, Juguna Nganga, Itifaki, Junwai Rego, Where the River Divides, Madrid Nyaga, Bazenga, Jackton Munala, An Act of Love, Charlene Wangare. To present this award, please welcome Dr. Hilary Shitambasi Mulama, the acting chair of the Kenya Film Commission Board, and he is one of the direct. He is on the commission board uh, and a director, and he will present this award. This award comes with a fifty thousand shilling cash prize and a gift hamper from Samsung. Karibu sana. Dr. Hilary Shitambasi Mulama. So I do hear Dr. Hilary is outside, just escorted the CS. So in uh, the place will... Uh, fantastic. We have a member of the board to present that on his behalf. Good evening, everyone. Best short film where the river divides is Matrid Nyaga. Matrid Nyaga. And for this award, they don't walk away empty handed just with the trophy. There is a cash prize of 50,000 shillings and a Samsung hamper. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Mike Strano. Um, I'm the co-founder of Yakwetu. We are the distributors of Where the River Divides as well as two other films that have been nominated. Um, so the producer has given me a speech to deliver on her behalf. Okay, here we have the lead actor and actress as well. So congratulations to the entire Where the River Divides team. It's been a, an amazing production. So Madrid says, in my absence, I am truly honored to be mentioned on this stage tonight. When I was called upon to work on Where the River Divides, I knew that it was going to be a life-changing project. Not just for me, but for the entire crew and every individual who would have the privilege of watching the film. The result has been nothing short of my expectations, with the film opening a church and discipling many that have, been, have also opened the conversation as well as opening the conversation of forgiveness among us to the communities we thrive in. My prayer now is that this same healing can transcend in this beautiful industry of Kenya, the creative industry, to bring us all to a beautiful place of collaboration and partnerships that will make us thrive and tell beautiful stories. The truth is the trophies and accolades are just but a plus. Everything else is the actual work. Thank you, God, for allowing me to glorify you with my craft. Thank you, Kalasha, for this award. Thank you, Yakwetu, for giving us the platform of My Movies Africa to share our film as well as distribution. Thank you again to the crew and cast for giving the best of yourselves. I love you all. Love, MJ. Thank you all.
Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Please remember to stop by the red carpet. We'd like to record that one more time. And once again, very well done. Fantastic. And we move on to our next category, Best Regional Film. Now, this award is for a motion picture with strong cultural roots in various regions of Kenya. And the nominees are... Best Regional Film. And the nominees are... Wife for Hire. Robin Odongo. The Whole Nine Yards. Victor Viboxumondi. Barua Lahuhamisho. Rogers Maithia Mulatia. Tulet. Durukan Jeroge. Jin and the Fried Chicken. Peterson Karaoke. And here to present this award, please join me in welcoming Dr. Yvonne Karemi. Let's give her a round of applause. So, for the best regional film, we have two left by Nduruku Njoroge. Kindly make your way to the stage. We're not just celebrating the very best of Kenya tonight. We're celebrating the very best of East Africa. It is a rich and diverse region and we celebrate your creative input as well. From Kenya, from East Africa, to the world. Much. My name is Bruno Tanya. I was the director for Tulet. It's Audrey Agesa, who is the producer and also my lovely wife. We, we are happy to be here and it's truly an honor. Thank you. Congratulations. Actually. Please make your way to the red carpet one more time so that we can record your moment from tonight's win. But we're going to take another short break. But we won't just leave you like that. Ladies and gentlemen, as I dab on my makeup, I'd like to call upon stage some young chaps with amazing talents. A round of applause for the Saracassi dancers.
myself, Brock Turner's victim, and any woman who's ever survived sexual assault. Yo, a round of applause for the Sarakasi dancers. dancers how epic was that ladies and gentlemen wow that was a full production going on we, we, can throw you. we try that thing eh? you're the one who'll be missing the insurance <laughs> but we'd like to keep it pushing and move on to our next category and this one is a category for best lead actor in a film it's an award that goes to an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a film. Yani, main character what? Energy. Kwani. See, we're young and hip together. How do I know this alone? Aya, ah, yeah. let's take a look at this year's nominees. In the 
the category of Best Lead Actor in a Film, the nominees are Dr. Edwin Nudo as Lee Babu in Half Open Window, Patrick Owino as Mze Thabiti in Vera, Pascal Tokodi as Melita in A Familiar Christmas, Emmanuel Mugo as McKenna in Itifaki, Gadwil Odhiambo as Dennis in Where the River Divides. Fantastic. And to give this award, he's a main actor in his own right. Ladies and gentlemen, CEC Mombasa County to hand over the award, Mr. Kenneth Ambani. Yuba. Wow. Uh, good evening. I've been on this stage so many times that uh, when I was actually asked to come and give this, give out this award, I can only say that I was truly humbled because it's like I'm passing on the mantle to one Godwill of the Ambo. Godwin Odhiambo, congratulations to you for winning Best Lead Actor in a Film. Godi. Awesome, my man. I'd like to pass my thanks and my gratitude to the whole cast and crew where the river divides. I'd like to say thank you to God for this amazing award. This is how it feels. Thank you so much for everyone who believed in me, for my parents, for my friends. Jeff, thank you so much. And for everyone who kept advising me and telling me to be a go-getter, Wakio Mzenge, thank you so much for believing in me. And thank you for my co-star, Shandri Daisy Apondi. Congratulations to you. You not only get to pick up that award, you also get a 55-inch TV from Star Times and a gift hamper from Samsung. A round of applause as he makes his way back. George, please make your way to the red carpet as we celebrate you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Best Lead Actress in a Film. This award is for an actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a film. And the nominees are... Best Lead Actress in a Film. The nominees are... Lina Sande as Nvera in Vera. Nice Kidinji as Koki Magla in The Call of... Maureen Kunga as Noni in A Familiar Christmas. Mwix Mutinda as Juliana in Act of Love. And Chandra Daisy Apondi as Mary in Where the River Divides. And here to present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. Jimmy Carteluo, the CEO of Star Times Kenya. Let's give him a round of applause 
Several TV sets have been given to winners tonight and we are grateful for your partnership with the Kenya Film Commission at this year's 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards. Good evening. Uh, today is really excited. Uh, you see, our minister mentioned Kenya lead local content. But I want to say local but international. For me, um, my responsibility is bring Kenya contents to China. Actually, this year, uh, we have a series. We are shooting in Kenya. Uh, we are together with Kenya producer, director, and actor. And after shooting, we 100% we are bring to China. Let Kenya content local but international. Thank you. Right. Another round of applause as we find out who this category's winner is. And the winner for the best lead actress in a film goes to Lina Sunday Mvera in Mvera. Bring all of that excitement to the stage. Okay. Please, come jumping. Bring all of that excitement to us so we can celebrate with you. Please give her a round of applause. Lady, you get to win a 55-inch TV from Star Times. Congratulations to you. And thank you very much, Star Times Kenya, for making this possible. And you also get a Samsung hamper. About three years ago, at the 10th edition of the Kalasha Awards, I was nominated for Best Lead Actress. But, well, you know, it wasn't my time. Three years later, I stand on this stage, and tonight I don't stand as Lena Sande, I stand as an inspiration. To all the nominees in my category, you are brilliant women. You are amazing women. You've done amazing works. I would love to appreciate AR Films production under the leadership of Dawidi Anguka. You gave me a chance to change my life and to make my dream come true. I'd love to appreciate AR Films, cast, crew, our bosses are here. The people back at home who are watching, my friends, my family, my fans, the people who voted for us, and my team. Thank you, Nasinema Itambe. Fantastic, fantastic, and such an amazing inspiration. Through Kenya Film Commission, you can see the awards are not just coming from Nairobi, from different parts of the country, including Mombasani. Congratulations again. As she makes her way to the red carpet, we move on to our next category. And something our winner has just mentioned rings true. Timing is everything, especially when it comes to comedy. And this next category is the Best TV Comedy Award. It goes to a television series that makes people laugh 
has a humorous tone, and it depicts amusing incidents in which the characters ultimately triumph over adversity. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best TV Comedy, the nominees are Kamuste, Damarisi Rongo, Roast House, Caroline Womboy, Comedy Riot, Caroline Womboy. And to present this award, please welcome on stage East Africa Head of Mobile Experience Samsung Electronics, Mr. Anthony Hutia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I can do it also. <laughs> it's a bit nostalgic because I started acting when I was young. Uh, but during our days, especially the 90s, and we are all at the Kenya National Theatre, we never used to make a lot of money, so we changed careers and became salespeople. So it's an honor to do this today. So best TV comedy. Come, you stay, Damaris Irongo. Congratulations, come we stay. And thank you very much, Samsung, for being a trusted partner of the Kenya Film Commission. I'm vain, so I already wrote a speech, eh? <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you all so much. Thank you to God, first and foremost, for this miracle, because only three months into the premiere of our show, uh, we have an award. So this is just a miracle right there. We want to thank the jury. Uh, big thanks to everyone who voted for us as well to get us here. You're appreciated. We want to thank uh, my family, most sincerely, my hubby and my kids. Uh, who have given me wings to dream big. I'd also like to thank the entire crew and cast of Kamu Stay. This has been a labor of love. We have worked hard in good and bad times, and each day, every team member has brought their A game. You are deeply appreciated. Uh, special thanks to our director of our show, Gilbert Lucalia, who holds a vision of the show with him every single day, Gili Asante Sana. Uh, I'd also want to extend a huge thanks to the Multichase family at Mnet Kenya, helmed by Timothy Okwaro, uh, your team members, channel head Margaret Mathore and commissioning editor Jackie Anyanzwa. Thank you for giving us a chance and for believing in us every step of the way. What you guys at Multichase do for this industry is unmatched. Msichoke, asante nisana. Um, I also want to extend another thanks to Everyone who's come through for us at our darkest hour producing this show. Uh, thank you, KFC, for your continued support to the industry. Timothy Owase, we appreciate you. Uh, and this award is dedicated to producers in Kenya. Uh, sitting on this hot seat has taught me so much, and producers carry so much on their shoulders. So today, I dedicate this award to Kenyan producers. Thank you. This award carries with it an extremely amazing cash reward. Not only do you get a gift hamper from Samsung, 
you also get 50,000 shillings and you also get 100,000 shillings from KFC. What an incredible win this evening. Congratulations to you. Please make your way to the red carpet. Fantastic. And on with the show we go. Uh, the next category, the best performance in a TV comedy. Now, this award is for a character who depicts dramatic performance, light or humorous tones depicting amusing incidents, and in which the character ultimately triumphs over adversity. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... Best performance in a TV comedy. And the nominees are... Ruth Nyambura, Comedy Riot. Abel Mutua, Roast House. Kevin Kasioki, Kamuste. To hand over this award, please welcome on stage Miss Felista Swangi, TikTok Content Partnerships Manager in Entertainment East Africa. Karibu Sana. But of course. I'm happy to be presenting this award because the person who's going to win this award is someone that I really, really love watching on TV. The best performance in a TV comedy goes to Abel Mutua in Rose Is Abel here? He is in Australia, I would think, but uh, maybe he would. All right, fantastic. I someone? go home with it and give it to one of my TikTokers because they... <laughs> <laughs> 